What is good? And in this video, we're going to talk about what monk mode is, how you can use monk mode to your advantage, and how I have used monk mode to learn code and get shit done. Um, obviously, we're in a different scenery. We're in my bedroom where all the action happens. And by action, I mean recording videos, you dirty monster. And with that being said, I don't know why I'm speaking on. Let's just get right into the video. And FYI, I'm a bit sick. If I sound a little sick, it's because I'm a, I'm a little sick. All monk mode is, is a self-improvement tactic to get things done that you want to get done. So for most people, monk mode is used to learn a skill, make money, or hit the gym and get in shape. And we'll get into more about like the nitty gritty and how you can use it in a bit, but essentially it is used to get shit done. That's all it is. And you know, there's a lot of different ways of describing it, but that is the main way that it is used and the benefits of it has been used. Now, I personally have used this for losing weight as well as learning to code. So I have a lot of expertise in this, in this section and, um, you know, it, it was a real benefit to my life and mostly why I'm making this video. And essentially, uh, how I've used monk mode is extreme. You know, a lot of people will say it's extreme and it, it, a lot of people will complain, oh, it's not for me. It's not for you. It's only for the 10% that are watching this video. That's all I'm aiming for because it is, it is a little extreme. So basically, how you use monk mode in your coding journey is you dedicate your life every fucking day to working towards your goal of learning code. When I started out in this journey of monk mode and learning to code, I removed all distractions because that, that's what monk mode is. You remove all distractions and you solely focus on a singular goal until you reach it. And with our coding journey and with my coding journey, I removed everything, no more phone, no more YouTube, no more Netflix. And I coded every day. I suffered and I specifically went and learned until I reached a point where I stopped sucking. And how you can use this in your life and how you can apply monk mode is remove all distractions like I did. You know, it's, it's easier said than done, but you need to remove all distractions and work towards this goal of becoming a full stack developer, app developer, whatever it is um, that you want. Now, the, it's obvious, but the main benefits of monk mode is that you're going to reach your goals faster. Someone that puts in the effort, someone that is able to put more hours into his craft will see better results in the long term. And that's exactly what I saw. As soon as I started doing this, I started seeing results. And I'm not surprised now that I look back because of the effort that I put in, I was obviously able to learn code, become a full stack developer and create the apps that I wanted to create. Now, I know it's a little extreme and a lot of people will disagree in a sense where they're like, why are you dedicating your life towards this thing? Why would you work every day towards this goal? It's because I want to see the best results in that thing. I don't want to wait two years to see the results. I want to see it as fast as possible with the right amount of effort. And this monk mode thing where you sacrifice all the instant gratification and all the current pleasantries, I guess you could say, of the current life in order to suffer a bit but work towards your goals is something I'm willing to do if it means I'm going to see faster res results. Now, I can't lie. It is a little difficult and, you know, it, you will see... Although you'll see a big change, it comes with a big sacrifice, but it was well worth it in my end. And I'm so happy that I took, I took that decision. Now, a lot of people have asked me, Nizar, how do you post videos every day? How are you making all these videos? How are you coding this platform of yours? And how are you talking to us on Discord all the time? Well, it's because I was on monk mode for those things. On code, I was able to get to a point where I was a good developer because I was solely able to focus on that goal and that only, right? With YouTube, I blanked for a second, I was able to post videos now every day and make it into a habit because it's my sole purpose. That's all it is. That's, that's what, like, you see these soccer players or football players, they get to that level because they're basically in like a full on monk mode for their entire lives. It, for that initial sport, right? Well, we can do the same thing in our situations with code, with business, with YouTube. If you just dedicate your life to it, and I know it's like a crazy thing, but you just dedicate yourself 
to that thing and work towards it, you will reach that goal and you will be great at it because you did that. I know that 90% of the people watching this will either disagree or they won't do this because it's crazy and absolutely insane. But the 10% that are watching this, you kind of understand that you kind of need to be extreme with some things because you can't have it any other way. I'm a very extreme person and I have to either go all in or I can't be in it at all. So it's for that 10% that actually they kind of have to do it anyways and they they kind of have to go into it but anyways i hope i've clarified what monk mode is how you can use monk mode in your in your coding journey and how i've used it personally it's been one of the greatest decisions of my life and i highly recommend it to those who want to see results um and with that being said if you want more personal one-on-one -on -one coaching where you, we can review your code we can improve your code kind of mentor i hate the word mentor but kind of just like you know you can learn code faster. I wish I had a mentor at the time. Um, then contact me. There's a coaching link in the description. And with that being said, happy coding, happy monk mode to those who use it. And hopefully by next year, you are a full stack developer as well. And that's the video. Bye-bye.